If you're an RVer and you've been looking to buy an RV, you have interest in buying an RV, this is going to be a video that you want to watch. So we've done quite a few of these videos, guys, over the years, and they keep changing month to month. 2023 has been kind of crazy, end of 22. This is from June 5th, 2023, RVIA, that is the RV Industry Association. If you don't know what that is, essentially they are a lobby group for the RV industry. RVIA is forecasting 2023 shipments to be in the 300,000 unit zone. And we'll get into more specific details on it. Now, this was prepared by ITR, who the RVIA sanctions out to do these studies. We think this is a very optimistic look on it because they've been making some predictions for the last year and a half that just kind of have fizzled out. As always, the CEO of RVIA, he's the president as well, Craig Kirby, he's usually quoted in these articles and he says, quote, interest in RVing remains high with full campgrounds this summer and a third of leisure travelers saying they would like to buy an RV. But the current economic conditions are causing some consumers to delay making discretionary purchases. This new forecast shows that shipments will begin to recover later this year and into 2024 as consumer confidence increases and the current interest in RVing turns into increased RV sale. Are you seeing full campgrounds? That's one thing we want you to answer in the comments. We have been seeing full campgrounds, which is actually better than last year when we weren't seeing as many mm -hmm. campers on the road, but we think that's because of the fuel cost and fuel's been Much lower this year, yeah. although the Saudis just cut oil production. So we'll see how that kicks in in a couple of weeks. But the, we'll talk about some other things, but let's get into the actual forecast. A new forecast projects 2023 RV shipments to be in a range between 287,200 units to 307,000 units with a median of 297,100 units. It's expected to turn into 2024 with wholesale shipments increasing to a range of 354,400 units to 342. 500 with a median of 348,400 units. Now we have no way of knowing how they came up with these numbers. I'm not quite sure how they came up with these numbers because there's a lot of factors going on here. There is a lot, yes. So as we've been saying all along, the decline in 2023 RV shipments is really being driven by the economy that people are just not spending the money on these discretionary things. Yeah, they just can't afford <laughs> the high interest rates and so right, on and so right. on. Let's talk about what these numbers are reflected uh, historically for RV shipments. So the, yeah. if it, it winds up hitting 297,000, 300,000, that's going to be the lowest shipments since 2012, when RV shipments were 285,749. So just to give a kind of comparison, 2021, which was crazy, we had 600,240. Now again, that year was not typical. So let's go to the year before and 2020 was. That's when COVID hit. So it was slow at first, right when COVID hit, but it did pick up. That was 430,412. You can see there is a massive drop. Now again, the RVIA has made predictions. They made predictions in 22 that they were gonna sell over 600,000 units. That did not pan out. And our opinion is there's, there's really no way to know any of this. Like they said here, they are kind of getting off the optimistic and saying that there are uh, macroeconomic things that are going on. If unless you live in a bubble, you know that there is rampant inflation that's been going on. It's kind of cooked into the economy at this point. Inflation has come down from 9%, but it's still, I believe, at 5.2. It's not going anywhere. It's still double of what it normally should be. And the bad news is that the Federal Reserve at this point uh, has paused raising interest rates for fear of putting smaller banks out of business. So there's no end in sight here. I, this is, sounds very optimistic for Craig, RVIA, but this is not good. Craig Kirby is always very optimistic, as he should be. He's leading the RVIA and needs to stay positive, but the positivity doesn't seem to pan out with the numbers that are presented in many of these months. Now, like we said, we've been seeing a lot of people at campgrounds. We've also been seeing a lot of RVs at dealerships. I know Josh the RV nerd just put a video out and I think he named it something like RV industry bloodbath. And he was just talking about the amount of dealerships that have 22s still sitting on the lot. New yeah, 22s. Yes, not 23s, but there are. 23s 20, 20. are approaching a year old. 22s are two, 24s are, are June. They're, they're out, most yeah, of them will be out, out by August. There's a local dealership by us, Myers RV up in Branchville. I just went on their website. They have quite a few 22s on their lot. That's not good news because I would imagine they probably paid an inflated rate for them. Mm -hmm. A lot of these dealerships are gonna have to take losses. On the flip side, the good news is for you, 
as a consumer, if you waited, if you were patient, like we told you a year and a half ago, you have a good opportunity now to not only get a new RV still under warranty, it might be a year and a half old, but get a really aggressive yeah, price on it. I think they're definitely it. going to be willing to work to get rid of these because they need these lots to start bringing in the 24s. Yeah, and here's the thing, this is what happens, right? Like if a dealership, and this was from Josh also, if a dealership has these 22s and they're not buying new RVs, there's no incentive for the manufacturer to continue selling them RVs. So you see the situation these dealerships in, they gotta get rid of those old ones because they don't buy new ones. Say it's a grand design dealership, grand design be like, okay, we're just gonna go somewhere else. And now they have nothing. I'm concerned for the small dealers and we know a lot of small dealerships yeah. that we've been to some really great ones. Um, Showalter RV, Dave's RV Center, yeah. Connecticut, all different ones. And how are they gonna be able to, to handle and, and hopefully be okay through this? Some manufacturers are offering rebates. Uh, I know that mm -hmm. Thor was doing that. Rev Group was doing that, Numar was doing that. There may be some other ones doing it to try to help move some of these units, but again, the opportunity is there. Let us know in the comments below. Have you recently bought an RV? Have you been looking for an RV? Are the dealerships still sticking to their prices or are they kind of coming to their senses and realizing that this is not just a fluke, that this is gonna be kind of a prolonged thing? Put it in the comments below, not only for us, but for other potential RVers out there, they read those comments. And if you like videos like this to the left of us, we'll put our RV news updates, we'll put our RV tours updates. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see you on the road.